Hello, welcome back to the woods. Now in this video we are going to continue with my bushcraft books series. Um, in the past we looked at books by Dave Canterbury, uh, Ray Mears, Morse Kahansky. Also a guy called Joe O'Leary who was uh, a British author who is still around, still teaches today, lovely bloke, I know him very well and he's got a superb book out there. And the reason I brought him into the, the mix was, well, if you're elsewhere in the world, outside of the UK, you might not be aware of Joe or of some of the other excellent bushcraft and woodcraft instructors that we have over here. And you're missing out because we've got some guys who are truly, truly world class. Indeed, both of the guys that I'm gonna talk about today and the books that they've written today um, have both worked with and for Ray Mears over the years. And their knowledge, I think, is no less than his. In fact, one of them is literally world-class tracker as well as being a bushcraft and woodcraft expert. Now, before we get started, if you are new to the channel, then please like and subscribe to it. Remembering to hit that notifications bell too. Also, in the description box down below, you will find links to my social media, uh, it's both Facebook and Instagram. So pop over there. Give me a follow over there as well. Now also, while you are down there in that description box, what you will also find is a link to my Etsy shop, The Green Craft Shop. And over there, you will find these, my hand uh, woven patches, which <coughs> are available all the time over there. There also are some other items over there that I make from time to time too, including my little belt pouches, my survival scarves, my water filtration bags, and my little stoves. So go over, have a look at the shop, and see what is in there to show your support for the channel. Also in that description box down below is a link to my merch shop and over there you will find a whole load of exclusively designed t-shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, stickers etc. Including this one, my Be Ready For t-shirt. So if you are into your EDC and your preparedness get yourself one of those but there's a whole load of other bushcrafty designs over there too which as I said are designed with pen and paper. Now on to the main video. So the first book we're going to look at is this one, Wilderness Axe Skills and Camp Craft by a guy called Paul Kirtley. Now Paul has been around for many years. He was a student at Woodlaw who went on to become their head instructor. Working obviously under Ray Mears and since then he's left he set up his own company frontier bushcraft which has a phenomenal reputation over here in the uk the book focuses on axe skills and how to use them safely which makes sense an axe well we all have them not necessarily all of us know how to use them properly this book if you follow the instructions in there shows you how to use an axe safely in a wide variety of different scenarios and for a wide range of different skills. It doesn't only focus on that, it also looks at knife skills and various other camp craft skills, the sort of skills that you're going to need for, well, coming out of the woods and getting set up here. It shows you how to make pot hangers, how to use withies, a whole range of different things, as well as the other camp craft things like carving yourself spoons. All of those things are contained in this book. Paul writes very well and he knows his subject matter very, very well. And what he's also got is a very good range of photographs that he's taken over many years, either in his time at Woodlaw where he was off expeditioning all over the world or from his frontier bushcraft uh, days as well. And an awful lot of these photographs are courses taken uh, photographs taken on his courses of some of his students. Indeed, uh, one of my mates is actually in several of the photographs in this book. It's a great book. It's a hardback, it's big, it's glossy. It's very, very good. If you've just got into bushcraft, perhaps you've been away and done a basic bushcraft course and you want to take your skills a little bit further, this book 
is a very, very good book, a bit of a Bible, a go-to. Whereas a lot of the bushcraft books tend to skip through an awful lot of subjects. Well, this one, there is a lot of subjects, but he's only focused on the ones that you need for campcraft and for using that axe safely. And by doing so, what he's actually done is, is created a very detailed, very good user manual for anyone using basic bushcraft tools. Uh, it comes in at, according to the back, $26. There's no English price on there, and I can't remember what I actually paid for it. However, you can get it on Amazon. So if you're over in the States or elsewhere in the world, this would be a very, very good book for you to get. Excellent book, really good quality, excellent photographs. It gets a very big thumbs up from me. Now the next book I want to look at is this one. And this is a book called Woodcraft by a guy called John Ryder. And John Ryder is one of the nicest, quietest, most knowledgeable blokes about bushcraft, woodcraft, tracking, pretty much anything outdoors that you will ever meet. He is such a genuine bloke. He worked with Ray Mears back when Ray was first starting out and he continued to work with him for a few years before going off and setting up his own school, the Woodcraft School, based down in Sussex in the south of England. John runs a phenomenal course. He's been responsible for training a huge number of bushcraft instructors up and down the UK and indeed worldwide. His reputation is that good, people come in and train with him from all over. His book, Woodcraft, and he's got another book out as well, one on tracking as well, which is well worth a read. But we're gonna focus on this one. Is this book, although it just says Woodcraft, a guide to using trees for woodcraft and bushcraft. It covers so, so many things. There's all the usual stuff, like tool selection, and using your tools, but it's also all about the different trees and how you use them. It also covers things like basket craft, bark weaving, bark craft, bow making, how to use wood to make natural dyes for dyeing clothing, fire craft, all the different fire layers, guides to identifying the trees as well as their different uses. This is an incredibly good book for anybody starting out in the world of bushcraft. If you can't get yourself on a course, get this book. Yes, it doesn't focus on water and stuff like that. However, it does focus on so, so many other things in great detail. It's a reasonable cost as well. This one was 22 pounds off Amazon. And again, with that, I will put the link inside. It's incredibly well illustrated with really good photo sections and it's just a lovely book to read there's so much in there but actually every time I pick this book up I discover something new the section on bow making alone is worth putting a whole book together from it really is a very very fine quality book so if you're looking for a book on bushcraft that covers a huge amount goes beyond pretty much anybody else's work on the different uses for wood and how to put it together, get yourself in this book by John Ryder and it's called Woodcraft. You can get it on Amazon. So there you go, a couple of cracking bushcraft books for your bushcraft library. Paul Kirtley's Wilderness Act Skills and John Ryder's brilliant, brilliant woodcraft. Definitely books worth checking out. As I said, I'll put my link down below for where you can get these over on Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, then remember, hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Down below, in the description box, 
you will find links to my social media so face uh, facebook <laughs> and instagram and there's also a link down there to my Etsy shop pop over there you can get yourself one of my little green craft patches as well as a few other bits and pieces that are coming up from time to time so keep your eyes on the shop if you want to get ahead on any of the items from the shop particularly when i start putting some of the new stuff up there is usually a rush for then there's a link down there to my Patreon page. Pop over there, become a patron. It is worth it. You get heads up early on what new stuff is coming into the shop. You also get a discount. Well, I think that's everything. I've been Neil. And until next time, stay safe in the woods. <laughs>